before I start this view, I want to say that this is a request from my friend Cade, aka Cartoon Network Facts on Instagram. We made a deal and now he gets this, me suffering through this show. Also, please send all of your Teen Titans Go love to Cartoon Network Facts on Instagram. Uh, it's going to be here, his name. Please just check him out. Send him all your Teen Titans Go love. Say how much you, how much you love Teen Titans Go, how much... Teen Titans Go is your favorite thing in the whole entire world. How much you love Teen Titans Go because it's his favorite show of all time, no doubt about it. He watches Teen Titans Go probably every single day and he loves it so, so, so much. But anyways. Hey guys, it's Cisco Spider and 2010 was definitely a comeback for Cartoon Network. Before this, all they had was CN Real and barely any cartoons. But around 2010, they started releasing shows like Adventure Time and Regular Show, which definitely was a comeback for Cartoon Network. Because uh, of this, they spawned more shows, more cartoons like The Amazing World of Gumball, Mad, uh, Symbionic, Ti Symbionic Titan, and this show. Problem Solvers is about three things solving problems, and that's pretty much the show. Them solving problems. Yeah. Before I talk about anything else, I have to point out the obvious. The animation is garbage. Absolutely garbage. Um, and uh, the reason why is because it's really ugly. And I don't mean like ugly shows like uh, Beavis and Butthead or uh, even Secret Mountain Fort Awesome and Uncle Grandpa. You know, those shows have ugly animation. But at least you can tolerate them, you know. Uh, by watching them, yeah, they look gross and the turn off, but you know, it doesn't hurt your eyes. But unlike this show, watching Problem Solvers, it does hurt your eyes. Um, uh, especially the first episode of the series, I could not stand watching that episode. That was really hard to do. Um, luckily, the episode that I had, or the how I watched it, it was on like small screen. Um, online. Um, so luckily I didn't have to watch it you know, in HD, um, so it was a lot easier to watch. But it is still really hard to watch. And for newcomers who you know, see commercials or you know, click, you know, click on channels and click on Cartoon Network and they see Problem Solvers is on and they see this ugly animation with this too much colors and just hurts people's eyes, they're not going to watch it at all. They're just going to skip past it. Um, go on another channel, go on Nickelodeon, just, yes, I, I don't know why Cartoon Network thought this was going to be a good idea. Um, in fact, just the animation itself, without the colors, um, you know, the character animation just look ugly, um, you know, especially, I, f I forget the human character, but he looks really disgusting, really gross, and not in a, you know, Beavis and Butthead stylized way, where if you see a character from Beavis and Butthead, you know it's Beavis and Butthead. This, however, looks ugly, unstylized garbage. Um, especially, you know, uh, the other characters, like Alfie. What? Who is he? I don't even know what he is. Is he a turd? Is he, uh, not, not to quote, I know people have talked about how Alfie's a turd, but I honestly don't know what he is, and it looks really unappealing, and it's hard to watch. If you, if, why watch a show where you can't watch it because of the animation. The animation is just garbage. It's awful. Yeah, but being a person who actually has seen the first season and, you know, I kind of got used to the animation, sadly, um, throughout the last few episodes. Um, didn't hurt my eyes that much. Um, so I actually know what the show, how the show is without the animation. And it is still really awful. The show itself is really boring. There's nothing interesting about the show, you know, yes, it's about people solving problems, but the problems that they have are really boring. Um, there's nothing interesting about them, and it's not a funny show. Um, nothing... I've seen the first season, which is about 18 episodes, and I did not laugh once at all. Nothing in the show was funny. Um, it was really annoying, really boring. Um, you know, when I was watching it, I really wanted to watch something else. Um, I still don't know how this lasted more than one season, although season two 
was an eight episode thing on Netflix, not on Cartoon Network, which luckily Cartoon Network didn't give this season or get, didn't give the show a second season on their network. So good for them for that. And as for the characters, they are bland and typical. You, you know, you have Alfe, the comedy relief jerk, who is very annoying and yes, he is a jerk and there's nothing likable to him at all. Um, then there's uh, Roba, I think that's his name, the goody two-shoes guy that always wants to do the right thing. And then there's the human guy that I totally forget his name, but you know, he's the wise guy, the boring guy has barely any personality. He's just your, I guess, your guy. He has no personality. None of these people have personalities whatsoever. They have one thing about them, and that's it. They don't build on it, don't do anything about it, nothing. I mean, I hate the characters on Wee Bear Bears, but at least they give them some development, more than just one personality, and that's about it. You know, I guess you have to start, like, characters have to start with one personality, but then you build on it, you know. He's the, uh, the jerk character, but, you know, he gets maybe the backstory, we get to find more about his character and all that stuff. Uh, like characters on We Bear Bears, as much as I don't like that show, they do that. But this show has nothing. So, the legends were true. Problem Solvers is definitely one of the worst shows of all time. Definitely the ugliest and hard to watch show of all time. Guarantee it that. I don't recommend this show to anybody. If you like her in your eyes, then maybe, but... Still, don't watch this show. The animation is terrible. The animation is ugly. The animation is hard to look at. The characters are very annoying and generic. The story and the plot and the episodes and everything else is boring. This is definitely one of the worst cartoons of all time. And it's garbage. It is garbage. Terrible. So this, episode, this show just broke me. Thanks a lot, Cade. Well, on the Disco Spider, peace out.